Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the reinforcement in beam. So I am going to explain this topic with the help of an example to understand it easily. So what are the different reinforcement in beams? So here I consider the beam longitudinal weave. Here is the beam longitudinal weave, this one. And here is the cross-section of the beam. So, so here I will explain the different type of the reinforcement in the beam. So there are basically two types. One is the one is the longitudinal reinforcement. Longitudinal reinforcement. And the second one is the shear reinforcement. Shear reinforcement in the beam. So First, to discuss the longitudinal reinforcement. So there are further three types of the longitudinal reinforcement. One is the tension reinforcement, which are provided in order to take the tensile stresses in a beam. Because concrete is weak in tension, so we provided the tension reinforcement in order to take the tensile stresses. So these are provided here in the tension zone. In the lower or the bottom portion of the beam so like in this way so if we look to the cross section here so it looks like the, the reinforcement are provided here at the tension zone at the bottom portion so there are the steel bars provided here to take the tensile stresses because concrete is weak in tension so these are the tension reinforcement the second one is the, the longitudinal reinforcement and the second type is the compression reinforcement. Compression reinforcement. So they are provided in the compression zone. Here, in some of the beams like in doubly reinforced beams, they are provided in order to increase the movement capacity of the beam. So here have the cross section, they are provided like in this way. These are the compression reinforcement provided in the compression zone because this is the compression zone of the beam and here is the tension zone of the beam. So when the reinforcement are provided in the compression, they are known as the compression reinforcement and also they are provided in order to take the or to hang out the vertical reinforcement which, which I will discuss later which are the shear reinforcement. So this is the compression reinforcement. The third one in the case of the longitudinal reinforcement is the side face or sidewise reinforcement. Side face reinforcement. Now when the depth of the beam, these reinforcements are provided when the depth of the beam is greater than 36 inches or 900 millimeter, then the reinforcement are provided at the center portion of the beam they are known as the here they are known as the sidewise reinforcement or side face reinforcement to avoid the cracks in the beam because of the greater depth which is greater than the 36 inches or 900 millimeter such type of reinforcement are known as the side face reinforcement here I draw at the center of the beam so they looks like in the center in the cross section so these are known this one and this one are known as the side face reinforcement so these are the longitudinal reinforcement we have three types one is the tension reinforcement one is the compression reinforcement one is the side face reinforcement so this is the tension reinforcement this is the compression reinforcement and this one is the side face reinforcement now what are the shear reinforcement these reinforcements are provided mainly to resist the shear stresses or shear forces. So there are types in case of the shear reinforcement. One is the vertical stirrups. The first one is the vertical stirrups, which are mainly used to take the shear load. So they are provided here if I draw with a different color, 
the shear reinforcement so they are provided vertically across the beam so if I look into the cross section so they are provided like in this way with a single or double legs like in this way so this is the shear reinforcement or we can say these are the vertical stirrups the second type of the reinforcement and the shear reinforcement are the bent up bar bent up bar along with stirrups so how to draw this type of reinforcement this is like in this way draw it with a different color so they are only like in this way then inclined and then straight and then again inclined and then again straight so they are known as the bent up bar along with stirrups so these reinforcements are also used to take the shear stresses at the mid portion they are used to take the tensile stresses here they are used to resist the shear and here at those region they are acting as a compression reinforcement so there are different purposes of this type of the reinforcement or here sometimes at the end they are taking the negative bending moment in the beam and the third type of the reinforcement and the shear reinforcement are the inclined stirrups sometimes stirrups are provided inclined in order to take the shear stresses or shear load so these are the different types of the reinforcement in the beams the longitudinal reinforcement and the shear reinforcement longitudinal are mainly provided for tensile stresses and shear reinforcement are mainly provided for shear stresses so hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video